Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Lil Cherry and today I'm super excited to share with you a really sweaty vinyasa flow. This class is more intermediate level, so less cues and more movements prepare to lots of chaturangas, so a lot of upper body strength, a lot of core workout. And what beautiful is about online classes is that you can always push the pause button when it's too much, take your child's pose, reconnect with your breath, and then come back when you're ready. So let's do this, let's get sweaty. Let's begin today lying on our back. Extend the legs long out in front of you. Arms alongside your body, palms facing up to the sky. Close your eyes for a second. And take a moment, start to connect with your breath. Let's take a little bit deeper inhales in through the nose. And deeper and longer exhales out of your nose. Two more just like that. Deep breath in, in through your nose. Exhaling out of the nose. One more. Great, now just leaving your eyes to open and then go ahead and hug your right knee into your chest. Gently rock side to side, squeeze the knee into your chest and take a few circles with your ankle to one direction. And then let's go and switch to the direction. Point your toes, flex, point, flex, point, and flex. Now bring the arms alongside your body. Elevate your left heel off the floor. Go ahead and peel your shoulders up. Start to magnetize your navel to your lower back and pressing your lower back into the floor. Keep your toes super active. Go ahead and extend the arms in front of you. If that's a little bit too much to your neck, you can support your head by interlacing the fingers behind your head. Beautiful, and just holding here. Reconnect with the breath, and we're gonna pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pause, extend your right leg all the way up. Keep your toes energized, and let's pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, either you can already feel a little bit some heat in your abdominals, now we'll make our way from here right into Navasana, both pose straight legs or bend. Big breath in, exhale, press and come up. Activate your toes, you can bend your knees, you can bring the fingertips behind your knees to lift your chest if you need. Hold, palms facing upward, lift your heart, smile, breathe, pulse it up the arms, five, four, three, two, one, holding, now let's extend just a little bit. Extend a little bit more. Extend more, hover. See if you can glue the lower back into the mat and then slowly release. Good, sweep the arms up and over your head. Take a full body stretch, big breath in. And let it out. Good, hug your left knee into your chest. Squeezing the knee. And then let's take a few circles with your ankle to one direction and then switch the other direction point your toes flex point flex point flex one more point and flex good bring the arms by your side palms facing down elevate your right heel and then go ahead and peel the shoulders squeeze your core muscle Glue your lower back into the mat. Good, extend the arms in front of you. Stay here and then let's pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pause, extend your left leg up. Keep your toes active, pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold and let's make our way into Navasana, both pose, big breath in and exhale. Good, activate your toes, lift your chest, 
slide the shoulders down your back, find a smile, and pulse up the arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower, tiny bit. Keep everything strong and engaged. Lower, tiny bit more. Good, lower a little bit more, hover. Slowly release. Woo. Sweep the arms overhead. Full body stretch, big breath in. And open mouth, exhale, let go of something. Good. Hug both of your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side, massaging your lower back. Now bring the fingers behind your knees and let's start rock and roll forward and back. Forward and back. Massaging the entire spine. Good. And then when you're ready, cross your ankles and make your way right into tabletop position. Align the shoulders over the wrist, hips over your knees. I'm gonna find a few cycles of cat cow. Inhale, look upward, deep your belly, wider up the collarbones. Exhale, cat, rounding, chin to chest. Inhale, cow, soften. Exhale, cat, rounding. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Few more cycles with your own breath. Last one. Come back to natural spine. Walk the hands a little bit forward, spread the fingertips nice and wide. Tuck your toes under and make your way right into down dog. Make sure that your feet are hip width apart, arm shoulders width. Bend the knees a lot. Try to bring your belly a little bit closer to your thighs. Fine, lengthen your spine, reach the tail higher and then go ahead and start to ground the heels. Any amount that you can. Let's find a few gentle movements in our down dog. Pedal up the legs and start to linking the breath with your movement. One more breath. Find stillness, cleansing in breath. And open mouth, let it out. Inhale, come high on your tippy toes. Tuck the chin to your chest and shift all the way forward into plank pose. Set the gaze in front of you. Strong, powerful plank. Placing the floor away, puff up the shoulder blades. Squeeze your core muscles, squeeze your butt. Now we're gonna flow through plank and down dog a few times to warm up the spine and our core. Inhale, exhale back to down dog. Press back, inhale forward to plank. Exhale down dog. Inhale plank. Exhale down dog. Two more. Last one. Inhale, shift forward to plank, pause. Bring the feet to touch. Shift the weight to your right arm. Pivot the heels to the right into side plank. Keep your gaze down to your thumb and then gently with control, left arm reaches up. Press the floor away, lift the hips a little bit higher. Gaze down for this one. We're gonna come back to this pose. Big breath in, exhale. Lower your left hand, shift the weight to your left arm, pivot the heels to the left, keep the gaze down. Inhale, right arm coming up. Leave the hips a little bit higher. Energize your fingertips. Take a big breath in. Exhale, back to plank. Feet hip width apart. Shift forward, shift forward, shift forward, and then back. Forward and back. And just rock here. I can breathe. Now shift forward, shift forward, shift forward. More, more. Lower chaturanga, bend the elbows, grind the ribs with the elbows. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Flip the toes. Inhale, upward facing down. Rack side to side. Roll the shoulder heads backward, shine your heart. Gaze over your left shoulder. Over the right shoulder. Back to center. Tuck your toes under, come back to Chaturanga. Inhale, press plank. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in. Open mouth, let it out. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or fold your feet in between the hands. Half full length, then inhale. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Samasthi Hiti. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, Uttanasana. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step or float back. Plank. Hold. Shift forward. Lower Chaturanga. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All the way down. Open up your fingertips outside of your mat. Inhale, lift your chest. High cobra. Exhale, drop your right shoulder and twist. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lift shoulder and twist. Inhale, come up. And exhale, gently lower. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under. Press up to plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or hop your feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lengthen. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale, mountain. Reach up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Half feeling then inhale. Exhale, step or float. Lower chaturanga. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Fingertips outside of your mat. Inhale. Lift your heart up. Exhale, drop your left shoulder to Inhale, come up. Exhale, right shoulder, twist. Inhale, all the way up. Hold. Gently lower. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under. Press up to plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. One more flow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or float the feet in between the hands. Halfway. Inhale. Fall in, exhale. Mountain, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fall. Halfway, inhale. Exhale, step or float. Lower chaturanga, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Fingertips outside of your mat. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, right shoulder down. Inhale, come higher. Left shoulder down. Inhale, higher. Exhale, lower. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under. Press up. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or fold your feet in, in the hands. Halfway length and inhale. Fold in, exhale. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend the knees, sink low. Smooth the biceps in line with your ears. Sink a little bit lower. Crawl the heel under. Activate your core. Take a full breath in. And exhale, plug the hands right into your heart. Start to shift all the way to your right foot. Elevate your left heel. And then slowly start to flow that left foot back behind you. Grounding your left foot down and making transition into warrior one as you inhale. Take a moment in warrior one. Tag the tail under. Reach higher, connect your palms, look up. Big breath in. Exhale, Vinyasa. Hands down. Step to plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into chaturanga. Inhale, press up, plank. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, step or flip. Halfway, inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees. Single. Play to heels. Core engaged. Big breath in, hands to heart, exhale. Shift the weight to your left foot, elevate your right heel, and slowly floating that right leg back behind you, rounding the right foot, inhale, warrior one, come up. Exhale, sink. Take a moment here, score the hips to the front of your mat. 
palms to touch. Full breath in, look up. Exhale, vinyasa. Hands down, step back to plank. Lower chaturanga, up dog. Inhale, back to chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, swing Inhale. your right heel up, down dog, split. Exhale, knee to your nose, curl in around your spine, squeeze your core muscles. Inhale, sweep that right heel up. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, knee to nose. Pause, hold, press the floor away, puff up the shoulder blades. Bring the gaze forward and a step through, long lunge. Ground your left heel down, inhale, come up. Warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Bring your back foot parallel to the back of your mat. Maintain 90 degree bend in your right knee. Strong upper arms. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Right elbow to your right thigh. Left bicep, by the ear. Energy in the fingertips. Inhale, back to reverse warrior. Sink deeper. Lean back, exhale, extend that side angle. Maybe this time, right hand outside of your right foot. Spiral your heart open, look up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extend that side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach the arms up. Elevate your left heel and square the hips to the front of your mat into crescent pose take a big breath in and exhale airplane pose shift the weight to your right foot and then fly bring your chest parallel to the mat flex your back foot square the hips full breath in exhale standing split sprinkle the fingertips down and start to send your left leg up 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 Maybe catching your right ankle with your right hand. And just hold. One more breath. Inhale, halfway. Lengthen. Exhale, low lunge. Rebend your right knee. And then gently landing the left toes to the back of your mat. Inhale, three-legged. Right heel. Reaching up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, lower one-legged, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing down, both feet down, lift your heart. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, press to plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel reaching up. Exhale, knee to nose, curl in, round your back. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, curl in. Hold. Look forward. Step through low lunge. Ground the right heel. Inhale, warrior one. Come up. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Strong upper arms. Sink a little bit lower. Square your chest and hips to the side wall. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extend that side angle. Spiral the heart open. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extend that side angle. Maybe this one a little bit deeper. Inhale, reverse. Keep the arms strong and engaged. Fingertips energized. Exhale, extend that side angle. Inhale, reverse. Go deeper, lean back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Sweep both of the arms up. Square the hips. Sink lower on your exhale. Take a big breath in. And exhale, let's fly into airplane pose. One more breath. Lower the hands down into standing split. Start to send your right heel up, 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 up. Maybe grab your left ankle with your left hand and just fold. Keep your right toes super strong, super active. Whoop. 
<laughs> Losing the balance. One more breath. Inhale, halfway. Lengthen. Exhale, low lunge. You bend that left knee and step the right toes to the back of your mat. Press the floor away. Inhale, three legged. Left heel reaching up. Exhale, one legged chaturanga. Hinge forward, hinge forward. Lower. Up dog, inhale, both feet down. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Cleansing in breath. Open mouth, let it out. Inhale, come forward into plank. Hold. Activate your legs, charge the heels to the back of your mat. Squeeze your core. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down to the forearms into dolphin plank. Forearm plank. Squeeze your butt. Engage the core. And just hang here. Enjoy. Take a moment to reconnect with the breath. Start to feel your core muscles slightly shaking. Now bring the feet to touch. We're gonna pivot the feet to the right. Shift all the way to your right forearm. And inhale, left arm coming up. Forearm side plank. One more full breath in. Full breath out. Now place your left hand down. Start to pivot the feet to the left. We're gonna go to a full expression of side plane. Right arm gonna reach up. Big breath in. Lift the hips higher this time. See if you can bring the gaze upward. Big breath out. Come back to plank. Shift forward. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale back to Chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, come back forward to plank. Hold. Press away. Everything strong and active. Find a smile. Breathe deeply. Holding for five, four, three, two. One, come down to forearms, forearm plank, holding, breathing, squeeze your butt cheeks, charging the heels backward, Good. bring your feet to tight, shift your feet to the left, inhale right arm coming up, forearm side plank, lift the hips higher by pressing the floor away with your forearm, one more full breath in, Full breath out. Bring the right hand down. Start to bring the feet to the right and then press, press, press. Coming into side plank. Full expression. Hips higher. See if you can bring the gaze upward. Breathe in. Exhale back to plank. Shift forward. Lower chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Back to chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Cleansing in breath. And open mouth, let it out. Drop your knees. Come into child's pose. Sink the hips to your heels. Stretch the arms forward. And take care of a few easy breaths. Before we're gonna go into our inversion, Drive it, head stand. Lift your gaze and then slowly roll. Roll, roll yourself all the way up to sit it. Okay, so our tripod headstand. So I switched the place just that you can see me a little bit better. Tripod headstand, place your hands, arm shoulders with. So we want to create a triangle here with your hands and with your forehead. So we're gonna place the forehead down, tuck your toes under, and lift yourself up into downward facing dog, just you're standing on your head. Squeeze the elbows in. If 
you feel comfortable here, come higher on your tippy toes. Lift the heels as high as you can. Sucking the belly in and start to walk the feet as close as you can toward your face. Option you want to stay here if it's enough or start to bring one knee up to your forearm, maybe another knee up to your forearm. And then come back. And again, play with that. Only if you feel comfortable here, if that's okay. Now see if you can squeeze both of your knees into your chest and hold, and then come back and rest your knees on your triceps. Again, squeeze and release. Squeeze, if that feels okay, see if you can you lift your knees up and then extend the legs, activate your toes, keep squeezing the elbows toward each other. Make sure that your elbows not going sideways. Everything is strong and active. Breathe. Knees back to chest. Knees back to forearms. Lower your toes. Lower your knees. And make your way back to child's pose for a few breaths. Let's take a cleansing in breath. Open mouth. Let it out. Leave the gaze. Come back to sit it. Let's do one more set of tri and headstand. Maybe this time we will try to add a little bit challenge. Again, hands in front of your arms or shoulders with. Place your forehead down, come up on your toes, down dog, squeeze the elbows in. So you can repeat just the same variation or try to move with me. Come high on your tippy toes, walk, walk, walk the toes towards your face, squeeze your core and then see if you can hover, lift your feet. Lower, lift, hover, lower, then lift, lift, press, 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 all the way up. Squeeze the elbows in, squeeze your back cheeks, elbows in, hold. Option one, just to hold, find the balance. Option two, coming into pike, hovering halfway, coming back, working on your core. Pike, halfway, keep your legs strong, toes activate, and then come back. And get a whoop, and if you fall, falling, that's okay. And then pike halfway, come back. And then see if you can come all the way down, touch the mat with your toes, and then press, 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 press back up. Good job, squeeze. And then let's slowly lower, 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 all the way down, knees down, back to child's pose. Woo, I'm sweaty. Big breath in. Let it out. And inhale, lift the gaze. And I come back to my place. And exhale, down dog. Tuck the toes under, send the hips high and back. Inhale, sweep the right heel up to the sky. Three, like it. Exhale, knee to nose, curling. Hold. And now right away, step through low lunge. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Sweep the arms up. And on the exhale, sink lower into your lunge. Send the arms back behind you and lace the fingertips at your lower back. Inhale, lift your heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, humble forward. Hinge at your hips and drop the right shoulder inside your right knee. Let go of your head, let go of your neck. Squeeze your core muscle and see if you can send the knuckles away from you. Bring the gaze to the front of your mat. Gently come up. Shave the weight to your right foot. And then inhale, transition into airplane with the clumps. Square the hips. Inhale, lift knee to chest. And exhale into ego. Start to bring the Lift leg up and over. See if we can hook around your right calf. Keep your hands clumps. Sink lower. Good. Send the arms back, back, back behind you. Beautiful. Bring the hands to your heart. And again, bring the left knee right into your chest. Bring the right hand outside of your left knee. Send the left arm back behind you. 
Option one, to stay here. Option two, go and reach to the outer edge of your left foot. Extend that leg all the way straight. And then slowly bring the gaze to your left palm. Good job. Bring the left hand in front of you. Grab the outer edge of your left foot. A right arm grabbing the inner arch of your left foot. Lift your chest. See if you can bring the elbows to your calf. Good. Stay and breathe. And if you're losing the balance, that's totally perfect. Let it shake. Let it burn. One more breath. Let go of your foot. Bring the hands to your hips. Big breath in. Exhale, airplane pose. Sweep that lift. Foot back behind you. Bring the chest parallel. And if you're falling, so just get up. Good. Soften the right knee. Low lunge. Hands down. Inhale. Sweep that right heel up. Three legged. Exhale. Flow. One legged vinyasa. Lower one legged. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Both feet down. Exhale. Come back to Chaturanga. Inhale, press the plank. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. Let it out. Inhale, let's sweep the left heel up. Three legged. Exhale, knee to nose. Curl in, pause. And I'll step through. Right. Inhale, high crescent pose. Coming up. Exhale, sink lower. Clumps the hands at the lower back. This time, opposite pinky on the top. Inhale, puff up your heart. And exhale, humble forward. Drop your head, drop your neck. Keep pressing through your right heel. Lift the gaze, lift your chest. Shift the weight to your left foot and then inhale, coming into airplane pose with it. Clumps. I'm getting tired and so sweaty. Good, let's bring the right knee into the chest. Keep your clumps and transition into eagle. Right knee across your leg and see if you can hook the right foot around your left calf. Drop the hips, square your hips and chest to the front of your mat. Send the knuckles away. Right knee back to chest. Bring your left hand outside of your right knee or outside of your right foot. Send the right arm back behind you and extend that right leg straight. And see if you can start to shift the gaze back. I have some issues with the balance today. Good. Bring the right hand to grab the outer edge of your right foot. Left hand, grab the inner arch of your right foot. Elbows to your calf. Lift the chest. Good. Breathe. Both hands to your hips. Keep that leg strong and engaged. Lift it. And then let's transition into airplane pose. Whoop. Pressing your left big toe into the mat. Low lunge, hands down, rebend your left knee. Inhale, sweep your left heel up. Three legged, exhale, one legged chatter. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, blink. And exhale, down dog. Big breath in. Let it out. And one more, just like that. Fill up. And I'll let it go. <sighs> Inhale, shift forward into plank. Lower down to your forearms. Forearm plank. Let's fire up. We will give more our core. Back to plank. Back to forearm plank. Back to plank. And forearm. And I keep going. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, hold. Now we're gonna lower the opposite 
elbow and do just the same. Lower down to your forearms, come back to plank. Lower and up. Keep going, five. Four. Three. Two. One. Plank. Hinge forward. Take your chaturanga. Inhale up, dog wing. Then hang here a little bit. Hang. Back to chaturanga. Inhale, plank. So down, dog. Big breath in. Let it out. Inhale, look up. Soften your knees. And as you exhale, walk your feet behind your wrist. Feet are hip distance apart. Soften the knees. Grab the opposite elbows. Grab the girl. And just hang here. Just sway side to side. Let your head to be heavy, your torso to be heavy. Good job, you guys. It was pretty tough for me. I hope you are sweaty, the same as I am. And I feel really nice and energized. So just hanging time to slow down, to cool down. Clump the hands at your lower back. Oh, lift the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then fold again. And again, just sway side to side. Reconnecting with your breath. Soften the knees and then sprinkle the fingertips down to your mat. Heel to your feet to touch. Bend the knees and then sink all the way down. Let's go into a seated forward bend. Extend the legs long out in front of you. Roll your shoulders back, sit nice and tall, coming into beautiful L shape. Inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, start to hinge at your hips with your peace finger. Grab the big toes. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. Cast your heart forward. Lengthen your spine. And then see if you can pull your belly really, really tight to create space to fold a little bit deeper. Maybe elbows gonna come down to the floor. Maybe you can bring the hands behind your feet. Keep lengthening. And maybe just go ahead and melt all the way down. Two breaths. Leave the gaze. Slowly roll up back to seated. Bend the knees. Scoot yourself to the front of your mat. And then slowly, slowly rolling all the way back to lying position. Coming into bridge pose, go ahead and touch your heels with your middle finger. And on the inhale, press the hands down and start to lift your hips up, up to the sky. Shimmy on the shoulder blades. Relax your glute muscles. Just hanging here for two breaths. And slowly start to come down, one vertebra at a time, tailbone coming very, very last. We're gonna repeat one more set of bridge. If you're willing to go a little bit deeper, so we're gonna go into a wheel pose. Wheel pose, hands in line with your ears, fingertips point towards your shoulders. On the inhale, press through your hands and feet, come halfway to your crown, and then press all the way up, straighten your arms. Maybe sway side to side if that feels good. One more full breath in. Full breath out. Take the chin to your chest. Lower down to your shoulders first. And then all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. Your lower back. Good. And now bring your left 
ankle on top of your right knee to figure four. Option one, you can lace the fingertips behind your right thigh or below your right knee if you would like to go to a deeper stretch in your hips. Squeezing the right knee into your chest and left knee to opposite direction. Soften the shoulders, soften all the tiny muscles on your face and just focus on the breath. And define a few rolls with your ankles. Clumps the hands, keep the legs as they are, open up the arms wide to the side. Bring the gaze to your left shoulder, take a big breath in. And exhale, we're gonna drop the legs over to right side. Make sure that you stay grounded through your shoulder blades. Close the eyes and just relax and breathe. Bending knees back to chest and wide the legs. A little bit back side to side to neutralize your back. And now bring the right knee, the right ankle on top of your left knee. And take the same grip as you did on the other side. Squeezing the left knee toward you and your right knee to opposite direction. Softening and breathing even deeply. Keep the legs as they are. Open up the arms wide to the side. This time, bring the gaze to your right shoulder. And on the exhale, start to drop your knees over your legs. Side back. Figure four, supine twist. Back to the chest and wide your legs, rock side to side, reset everything. Now let's find a happy baby, grab the other edges of your feet, open up knees outside of your rib cage. And then let's pull knees down and move inside to side, maybe extending one leg up, maybe the other one. If you want to go even deeper, you can grab inside your heel, straighten the legs and see if you can open up your legs all the way. the knees back to chest, interlace your elbows, bring the forehead to your knee, give yourself a big hug, a big squeeze, 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 huge cleansing in breath, fill up, fill up, take another sip of air, squeeze everything tighter, and I'll just let go. Final Shavasana, resting pose, legs long out in front of you, arms alongside, palms facing up to the sky. This is your time to relax. Don't skip your Shavasana ever. This is one of the most important postures in your practice. It's when you allow your body to digest all that amazing job that you've done. This is the time that your muscles can create some memory. So just relax, start to coming back to the natural flow of your breath. Relax your jaw, your face, fingertips, your toes.
take a few more breaths. Just feels so good to be here. to bring awareness and consciousness back into your body. Fine and gentle movements in your toes, movements in your fingertips, bring your eyes to open. Take inhale, sweep the arms overhead, full body stretch. And then exhale, hug the knees into your chest. You can roll yourself to your favorite side or just can roll forward and back and come all the way up into a comfortable seated position. Plug the hands to your heart. Close the eyes. And I would like to invite you to take a moment and remind yourself how amazing you are, how powerful you are, how special you are. Remind yourself that you exactly where you're supposed to be today. Feel up with gratitude. And I'm super grateful for you guys. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for sharing your beautiful energy and your beautiful practice. Bring your palms to your third eye center of your intuition, connecting your head with your heart. The divine and delight in me, season owner, the divine and delight in each and every one of you. I bow to you. Namaste. You guys thank you for enjoying me today like this video if you loved it if you enjoyed of your practice share it with your friends share with me your comments I really love to connect with you and to hear what you have to say about my classes give me some suggestions if you would like for a, me to create more videos for you and I will see you soon again thank you namaste